Hi, welcome to another Terrain Direct video. This is uh, an update of the February painting challenge and here we go, the Chaos to Fire, which I've been painting. Um, I've done quite a lot more to it. I've spent a really good um, a really good few hours actually going through a lot of the pieces and picking out things. So first of all, um, I'll bring this a little bit closer up to the camera. Um, we can see, I'll show it from this direction, um, we can see I've managed to, after multiple different uh, processes, I've managed to actually knock all this stuff back. I actually ended up repainting it with a completely different colour and um, building up very, very subtle highlights with like a glaze over the top until eventually then I give it like a complete like dust wash. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really happy with the actual effect now that this is coming on. Obviously, there's still quite a lot of detailing and stuff to do. Um, I've actually started picking out all the actual um, little caps. Um, still quite a few touch-ups to do inside there as well, um, like from overpainting and stuff. Um, obviously, like all the areas where it's been scraped and getting handled because this part does actually move. Um, and I can't actually fix it until it's actually been put onto the base. Um, we'll have a look at the engine part. Um, as you can see, is I've actually gone for like this really um, strange sort of brass effect. Um, I'm actually really liking this. It's um, the way that it's all coming together. Obviously, this has also got to be knocked down, um, which I'll do once I'm actually start to finish it. As you can see, I've actually started it over this side. I've basically been painting one side, then going over to the other. Um, that's about as far as I've got. Um, I've gone for a completely different process over these parts. Um, I actually added in like a tiny, tiny little bit of sand. I don't know if you can actually see this on the camera. Um, come on, focus. No, I don't think you can see it. But there is actually like a very small, um, actually silica sand. And I've actually added that into the paint to give it like a bit of a texture sort of look. Um, so I want to give it like the final couple of brushes over um, and then dry brush it and it will pick out that detail. Um, this one, I um, spent a lot of hours doing this one um, and what my effect was trying to go for is like a gradient from the blues to the whites um, which I basically started with this one and then built all my gradients up to give the actual uh, weapon a, a more interesting overall look. And I think it actually uh, really did work. This was actually really painstaking because every single one of these discs is painted separately. I'm just building it up with like a tiny piece of paint each time. Okay, so uh, the turret. I'll go over to the turret. Um, onto the turret. Um, this is what I'm actually just working on at the moment. Is I'm actually working on the stretch skin over the actual barrel. And what I'm actually doing, as if you can see, is I'm just actually starting to apply like the highlights into the actual pieces and then just building them out and building them out and building them out until I get like a, a really nice colour. Um, I'll actually just show you the paint palette. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm actually mixing, I've actually got four different types of reds and I'm actually mixing them uh, into each other. Um, so I basically started off with this one, progressed to this one mix the two of these together and um, actually mix them over here and that was the paint I was picking for them then I added some like, I made a white uh, whitish pink then I added that to that and then that gave me the next layer, layer. and then I added this one um, with some glaze, washed it all down so it's really really runny added a slight piece of white into it and then that gave me um, my final highlight over that for that stage and there's still another stage that I want to go over with highlights onto this to pick out even more. Um, I've basically done the same process on the back. Um, I don't know how well that's going to pick that up. But yeah, I've gone for the same sort of red paint scheme um, into that and actually into the barrel. So overall, I'm actually getting there with this project. Um, I've started to now... Um, also started painting all the other starts of the other parts so we're getting there I would say it's around about 50% complete the way it's at the moment and uh, maybe just a little bit over but now I've got to start actually thinking about how I'm going to base the actual miniature itself okay with that said I'll bid you farewell 
have a good day, happy wargaming, stay safe, take care, see you later, bye.